In this video, I will show you how to create this login page using Bootstrap, HTML, and CSS. So here we can see that this navbar is slightly transparent, this login form is slightly transparent, and we have this background image. Now let's create a new folder. So I will create a new folder on the desktop. Let's call it website. Then let's create a new HTML file. Let's call it login.html. So now we need to use Bootstrap. So let's go to the browser. And here let's type Bootstrap. Let's go to the first link. Then Docs. And we can use this source code that includes Bootstrap CSS and JavaScript from the CDN. So let's copy it. And let's paste it here. Let's change the title. Then let's add font awesome icons so we can add it from the CDN. Now we need to add some images to this file. So let's create the images folder. Then I will use these two images. So this one will be used for the background and this one will be used in the navbar. Then let's add a navbar to our login page. So we can find the source code of the navbar on the documentation website of Bootstrap. So here we can select navbar. Then we can use this source code that allows us to obtain this navbar. But I already prepared a navbar which is slightly different than this one. So we can add the navbar in the body. So this navbar uses this CSS style in order to be partially transparent. Then here we have the name of the application, so we can call it Best Pizza. And we will display it using the white color. Then we have two UL elements. This is the first UL element and this is the second one. So in the first UL element, we have two items, home and contact. So home and contact will be displayed using the white color. In the second UL element, we have two buttons. So this is the first button, it has the text register, and this is the second button with the text login. So these two buttons uses the yellow color. So this class allows us to use the yellow color. Also, we can use this CSS style to define the width of these two buttons. Then we can add an image just before the name of the page. So just here we can add the IMG element. So this is the IMG element, this is the source. So this is the image that I added to the images folder. Which is this image. So we will define the width, and here we have this class to make some space between the image and the name of the page. Now let's display this image in the background of this page. So we need to add some CSS style. So this is the image that we will use as a background to this page. It will cover the entire page. And also we will display the image in the center of the page. Then we have this CSS property that allows the image to be fixed. So when we scroll, the image will be fixed. Then with the height, the body will take the full height of the page. Now let's delete the H1 element. Let's save the file. And let's open this page. 
So here we have this navbar which is slightly transparent. We have the name of the application. We have this image. We have these two items which are displayed using the white color. Then we have these two buttons. So we can see that they have the same width. And they are displayed in the yellow color. Now let's add a div for the login form and let's display it in the center of the page. So this is the div that will be used to display the login form. We will display it in the center of the page. We can make it rounded and we will display its content using the white color. Then here we have some CSS style. So we will make this div slightly transparent. We will use this height this width and this margin. Then let's add an H3 element with a text sign in. So this is the text sign in into an H3 element and here we have some paddings. Then let's add an horizontal separator. Then let's create our form. So here we can see that we have some paddings. Then let's add the first input element. So here we have this div that contains this span with this icon. Then we have this input element that allows us to provide the username. Then let's create another input element for the password. So here we have this div that contains this span with this icon and we have this input field. So it is of type password, its name is password and we will display the text password. Now let's add a checkbox with the text remember me. So here we have this div with this input of type checkbox. And we have this label with the text remember me. Now let's add the submit button. So here we have this div that uses these two bootstrap classes. So this class allows us to display the content of this div at the right. Then we have this button. So this is a submit button which has the text login and we will display it using the yellow color. Then after the form, let's create an horizontal separator. Then let's add two links, one link that should allow the user to register and another link that should allow the user to request a password reset. So here we have this div that displays its content in the center. Then we have two links. This is the first link with the text register and here we have the second link. So in the second link we can display the text forgot your password. Now let's save the file. And let's refresh the page. And we obtain this login form. Now let's change the width of the page. So we can see that the login form and the background image are always in the center of the page.